Okay, Max, you and Mike, your twin brother, are here. Is this your fifth year or fourth year? Fourth year. Fourth senior. year, but you this is your senior year. Yeah, we redshirted our freshman year, and we have this year and next year. So you got, year. it's your fourth year, so you got two years left. Yep. Um, when you look at, uh, you know, the, what you guys have had, is, uh, your journey in wrestling with your brother, Mike. I mean, it was like, you guys shared uh, same space for eight to nine months. Okay. <laughs> then now, now you guys are sharing. Do you live together? Live together, share the same car, same classes. Are you serious? It's convenient. It's convenient. Same major? Yep. Are you serious? Yep. Wow. We're always with each other. Same friends, everything. But if you wrestle, sometimes it'll turn into a fight, I heard. Yeah, but we'll get split up every once in a while. It doesn't look like that's a problem in this room. No, I think it's good. I mean, as long as people aren't throwing fists there, I think it's great. It's competitive. You get that intensity, that environment. Tell me the story of Max and Mike and, and how many times you've run into each other. You've actually, at the state tournament in Buffalo, or in uh, New York, Albany, right? Yeah. You guys had to wrestle one year. Your junior year, tell me about that experience. Um, well, we've always been the same size, same weight class and everything. And years ago, like 7th, 8th, and ninth grade, we wrestled in a real match. And it was just brawling, you know, going after it. And then obviously someone's got to win, someone's got to lose. And we don't really talk to each other for like a week. So my parents hate it. And uh, so then from, that, from there on, we just decided we were never going to wrestle each other. And, I mean, we never got to like the nationals and all that stuff. We'd... But besides the point, um, our junior year at the States, we ended up meeting in the uh, quarterfinals, and we weren't going to wrestle each other. So we decided to flip a coin, and um, I, I chose Tails Never Fails, but that didn't work. Tails does fail. <laughs> yeah. Cost you a state title. Yep. So um, he moved on. He went on to the finals, or semis then finals, and then he won a state tournament, and I came back and took third. So technically, I never really lost a match. I just lost to the coin flip. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. How does what, how do you feel after that? What's your like? You know, what, like, it's the same thing we were just talking about. It, it could have been me. You know, like you've qualified for the NCAs twice. He hasn't. Yeah, exactly. It could have been me on that state that state tournament. Besides the point, our senior year, we um, were op opposite sides of the bracket. Both kind of slipped up. You know, nobody nobody made it to the finals. But in the wrestlebacks, we ended up meeting up again, and. It was fair enough. It was my turn, so he gave it to me. I went on and took third. He went on and took fifth, and I was still upset. I, I never got my state title. I took third twice, but um, then we went on to uh, Virginia Beach Senior Nationals, and we were on opposite sides of the bracket, and I ended up running through that tournament and pretty much majoring everyone and, and took first. Mike lost first round, got majored, came back, beat that kid, and took Third or fourth, so we could have been in the finals there too together. Jesus, Pete. So when you guys would wrestle, you said you're three and zero against him. Yes. But no, technically you're three and one because you three did. Three and five, the coin. Because you lost a coin flip. Tails never fails. But uh, how does it work in New York? I mean, I, I'm from Ohio. We've only ever had one, one. other set of brothers: uh, the Skinesny brothers, uh, Nick and uh, the younger Skinesny brother Ryan wrestled actually for uh, in the Constellations. One's older, one's younger, and then there are two Skinesy brothers that are twins. Different weights. Different. They were they were different weights. Okay, but the twins never wrestled. But the two brothers, the younger brother and one of the twins, wrestled. So how does it work in New York? How how did you guys so happen to be in the same weight? I guess, and you're from the same school. Yeah. How does um, it work? I guess it's just different. In New York. We we were able to have two guys in the lineup for tournaments and stuff. But I guess at that level, we were one of three pounders our senior year. We would wrestle like one twelve and one nineteen dual meets, so we'd both be able to get in the lineup. But when it came down to postseason, we would both wrestle the same weight, you know, in uh, in counties and uh, states. What would you do for, yeah, for the qualification? Did you guys just forfeit to it? How'd that work? Yeah, like our senior year, because we had, like, you know, the um, points from last year and everything. So if one took second, we were still going to go states. So we just made the finals, and it was a forfeit. And How do you uh, decide that? Is that a coin flip, too? Um... Our junior year, I actually lost in the semis, and I took third, and he ended up winning the county. So, like, I didn't even think I was going to go to states, but I got a wild card anyway. But then our senior year, since he took first the year before, it, he was going to go anyway. So, and he ended up getting the first year at states because he was the previous uh, county champ. So, we were both going to go. It didn't really matter at that point. We were looking at the state level. Real life's coming in two years. Like, career, real life. Yeah. What do you guys do? I mean, you've been together forever. You know, you share the same car, house, major, everything. Yeah. If he goes back, you're from Long Island. Yes. If you go back to Long Island, you know, what, what's going to happen? You going to go where your brother goes? Uh, I mean, I don't know for how long, but eventually, you know, we got to split up. We got to do our own thing. 
Um, Can't share the same wife or anything like that. Yeah, it might be a little like weird. Work, uh, yeah. But uh, we're in the same major, so I mean, I, we're probably going to both trying to get teaching jobs and, you know, maybe get a coaching job somewhere. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to go our separate ways sometime. Are you, are you dreading it or, or just part of life? I mean, we've been apart. It's not like, it's not going to kill me, you know, but it, it's nice to have him all the time, you know, a good friend, you know, someone who pushes me every day. It's good.